Today, we're visiting the Mekong Delta in Vietnam. You might have heard of it. It's one of the world's most fertile regions, producing tons of rice, fish, and fruit. But now, this fertile land is under threat. Climate change is causing more intense droughts, while rising sea levels means that salt water from the ocean is invading the rivers and fields of the delta. This is a big problem for rice farmers, because without lots of fresh water, their crops die. Now, did you know that one of the secrets to helping the Mekong Delta's farmers deal with our changing climate is right under their feet? Yep, it's all about soil. Meet Professor Koi. He's been uncovering the mysteries of the Mekong Delta's soil for 30 years. The soil, they, they have their own life, like the human beings. <laughs> I think that's very interesting and it's, it's also very complicated. <laughs> Together with the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research, Professor Koi and his colleagues are trialling all kinds of crops that farmers have never produced in the Mekong Delta before. They're particularly interested in ones that grow fast and don't need too much water. With our projects, we try to help the farmer to diversify their growth uh, instead of having only rice so they can deal with climate change. One type of crop that we never been in the Mekong Delta before, like beetroot or cowpea, and we have uh, king noir and maize. Maize is the local crop in the Mekong Delta, but uh, they never think that uh, maize can brew in the rice field. From December to May, it's the dry season in the Mekong Delta, and there isn't enough water to grow rice. It's a tough time for rice farmers like Tran Kim Sol. With little rain, canals often dry up and sometimes droughts hit. Every drop of fresh water counts. And that's why Mr. Sol has been trialling the less water-hungry crops with Professor Koi and his team. Figuring out how much water to give these new crop varieties is like solving a puzzle. Too much water, you wash away all the good stuff plants need to grow. Too little, your harvest will be disappointing. That's where a super cool invention from Australia called the chameleon comes to the rescue. Now it's not a color changing lizard, but it is just as clever. This gadget helps farmers figure out exactly how much water their plants need. But how does it work? I can show you here. Yeah, look like this car. When the light show the red color, we need to apply water immediately. And when it show the green color, the soil is still moist. Uh, but when we irrigate and it's come to blue, we can stop. In the glass house, we can control the environment. And with the chameleons, we look at how the crops dealing with different scenarios. Using this nifty tool, farmers have been able to save heaps of water. Theo nông dân của chúng tôi đó là muốn cần xài tới cái cảm biến để mình hạ tiện được nước. Chameleon train for the farmer how to use the water uh, more efficient when they know how much water they need to apply and they can stop using the chameleon and they still have their calendar or their schedule to apply the water for their crop. That's a game changer for the Mekong Delta's battle against salt water and drought. Every year, every year, we have a lot of water. We have a lot of water. As the soils of the Mekong Delta continue to change, Professor Koi says it's more important than ever to keep studying them. I think our farmers, they have to make change to adapt with the climate change. We hope the farmer can use this research to increase their income and their living standard. New climate resilient crops offer a promising solution for the Mekong Delta. 
And with the help of one clever little chameleon, farmers can save an incredible amount of precious water.